What's going on, guys? Oh, hang on, let me get rid of this right here. What's going on? Happy E3. And um, I did not expect this trailer to pop up this soon. So this is the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC trailer. I'm a little worried about this DLC because I don't want it. I want it to really expand on stuff. Like there's some stuff that I don't want being in here that I've already wanted in Kingdom Hearts 3. But we'll see. Either way, I'm going to geek out and everything. So, But before we get started, I must keep up tradition and have the, the blanket on. The Kingdom Hearts 2 blanket. All right, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Right, cool. That's the Master Masters! It has to be. He's the guy who moves like that. Yeah, look how tall he is. Yeah, that's definitely him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then how'd he get there? Oh, wait. No, no, no. I think that's Lushu. Oh, he gets to play as Riku. And Aqua. Okay. You get to play as Roxas. Wait a minute, is that Oathkeeper? Alright, when's it coming out? This winter? Okay! Not bad, adds a... It, it definitely looks like it expands on the lore a little bit. Um... And I want... Yep, that is Oathkeeper. They're bringing Oathkeeper back. Now, that I think will be free DLC. Because I remember they said they were going to add a... A Keyblade. Or something like that. Um... I love that we get to play as Roxas, but... I just... I just feel like a lot of this stuff that's in there, and this is the fear I had, this is stuff that could have easily been in the actual game. I mean, I, I, I'm, it, it just makes me think that they cut this out to sell it off as DLC. That, 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 that's just sometimes the vibe I get. I feel like this could have easily been in the game. Um, it's playing as different characters. I would have made it much more epic, but... I mean, I'll still get it, uh, just to see what the story is like, to see how much it expands on the actual story. Um, I know this is going to sound crazy, but there's one thing I do not want to see. I don't want to see any, any more Sora and Kairi stuff, because that, 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 that's something I would have liked to have just been in the game. Like, seeing Sora and Kairi, you know, do something I've been wanting them to do for a long time. I don't want that being something that I would have had to end up paying for, extra money for to see. But, uh, hopefully, uh... This uh, DLC will be worth it. Hopefully it's priced okay. Like maybe 15, 20 bucks. Anything above 20, I feel like Square is really pushing it. So, we'll have to wait and see. But guys, uh, let me know what you think of this trailer. Are you excited for this DLC? Let me know in those comments below. And also be sure to hit that like button like you absolutely mean it. And the subscribe button as well. It is totally free. I am RandomEd787 as always. Game of my fellow gamers. And happy E3.